let's look at question five. This was the backers no question worth a total of eight marks. The name of a constant in a certain computer language must either be a single uppercase letter or a single uppercase letter followed by one or more uppercase letters or digits. Produce an appropriate syntax diagram to define a constant in this language and it's worth a total of four marks. Now the first thing that I picked up on was the constant must either be a single uppercase letter or a single uppercase letter. Now that means that every single time that this constant is applied it must start with a single uppercase letter. So all I'm doing is drawing in my non-terminal box and inside that I will put the word uppercase and that will be my rule. Reading on, now I've sorted the uppercase letter, I need to follow it by one or more uppercase letters or digits. So I'll put in two terminals here, one for my uppercase letter and one for my digit. Now if I put them on the same line like this, it shows that I can have one or the other. And all I need to do is draw my arrows down into the digit and then from the digit and the uppercase letter to continue on with whatever program I'm doing. Now if you read the question carefully, it says I can have either a single letter on its own or a single letter followed by one or more uppercase letters or digits. That means I'm allowed to have one uppercase letter only and I can skip and that's all I can have. So I'll draw a, a line around the top which skips that rule and then I can have one or more uppercase letters or digit after the uppercase letter and that tells me it is recursive. So hopefully my lines are not too confusing and you can follow that. And that's worth a total of four marks. Moving on to question B, I now need to define my non-terminals for my terminal values. So uppercase letters will consist of A or B or C. Be careful, make sure you put it and write it as an uppercase letter. For the digits, some people missed out zero and therefore they lost a mark on this one. Now in my opinion this next bit is the trickiest part. I'm going to define a string rule that can have the option of null which will allow me to skip or it can be an uppercase letter on its own or it can be a digit on its own or it can be an uppercase letter that is recursively called so multiple uppercase letters or it can be a digit that is recursively called and it can have multiple digits combined with multiple letters and I've got every different combination inside this string rule. And then all I need to do in my constant rule is call the uppercase letter because that is a must and I need to have one. It doesn't matter which option or rule I'm calling. It must start with an uppercase letter followed by the string rule. And that should cover me for everything that the question has asked for. So where do the marks actually come from? We get one mark for declaring the uppercase character. You get a mark for declaring the digit. You get a mark for declaring the string rule and including recursion. And you also get the final, the fourth mark for declaring the correct rule for the constant. To get all four marks in section A, you get one mark for the compulsory uppercase letter. You get one mark for the option of the uppercase letter or the digit. You get one mark for the null or the skip arrow. And you get one mark for repeating the uppercase letter or digit, but it must have an arrow showing me the direction in which we are traveling. In total, two questions, eight marks in total.